the singing show Let me make you sing and you taste buds wet All we want for you to see Is how we living in a blessed country Yeah well, hello guys, welcome to the Singing Chef Show. And I'm Ian John, I'm your Singing Chef. And what are we gonna be doing today? Um, you like my new guy in the flag here? Actually, I just wanna, you know, isn't it lovely? It just makes me feel, you know, it's like I'm home, I'm home, yes. Okay, great. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be doing um, sweet potato, um, cheese sticks. I'm calling them GT sweet potato cheese sticks and what it basically is it's like we got some sweet potato there and I got some normal potato in there it's all mixed up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those in that water right because I need for my stuff to boil okay I'm hoping that it doesn't I'm gonna have to take some of the water out of this one if it goes up too high yeah it's going up too high Okay, let's get that in there. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil this for about 15 minutes. Okay. What I'm going to do is just pull that over there and just get some of the water out of here. Beautiful. Maybe a little bit more water and then, right. Yes. Okay, a little bit more. Fabulous. Okay, so we're just going to cover that over and let it get to a boil. And then, in the meanwhile, I've washed my peppers, my sweet peppers here. Because that's like a major part of the, um, of the flavor, the flavor. Right? So we're going to just chop this in half because we're going to have to... Uh, get rid of the inside or well, the seeds really seeds and that white stuff okay it's easy like this see look bidim 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 bada da 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 okay okay so we get rid of that and we get some more here it doesn't take that long I've literally been working on these peppers for about 45 seconds, I reckon. Probably not even a minute yet. All right, I'm almost halfway there already. Just get rid of the seeds. I don't know why they get rid of the seeds, but maybe because of the texture. And, and also, they do taste a little bit bitter, actually, with this sweet pepper. You have to get rid of the seeds. And then, um, with hot pepper, the seeds are the ones that bun you. <laughs> okay. They bun you. Right, so you gotta get rid of those unless you want it to bun you. Or burn all the people that are eating the meal. Okay, but anyway, so we're getting rid of these seeds. Oh, look at that. Look how quick. Easy job. Well done. Okay, here we go. All right, let's hold on. Let me just clear this up. Because I like a clean board to work on. Thank you. Burp, 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 burp. And we got everything here. I'm going to put these in here. Right. Oh, and if you wonder why I'm using a big hatchet like this to actually do it, it's just because it's so much easier to cut with these things. I got like on my favorite. Um, one of my favorite uh, uh, people on uh, that do like food blogs or food shows or chefs or cooks or whatever it is is this woman from China um, named Dian X or I think it's they, they'd say it's, it's Dian Z and um, she uses a, a short one of these really heavy and when I saw her using it she just used it she cuts so precisely and then I remember my mom used to, I always had a favorite hatchet. She didn't really use like a knife because it's so much easier. So much easier to cut with, with things like this. What I'm doing here is I've just pressed them down because I want some nice, nice cuts um, because this got to be kind of fine. So watch, All right? You got to get the cuts are going to be fine. So you press it down so it's nice and 
flat. Okay, so you know that's the impatient side of me. Don't rush it, just get it because it's going to be going. I'm going to be mixing it with that sweet potato. When uh, we're going to mash that and we're going to turn it into um, some nicely rolled um, sticks. We usually rolled um, thin sheets and now we're going to cut them up into sticks. So, what we want is this. It's going to be crispy on the inside. We're going to cook it off a little bit. We're not going to do it just like this. Right? But we want it nice and fine. Because we don't want too much of a crunch. That is the difference between... That's how you take your cooking up like a different level. It actually... When you're doing like mirepoix and things like that. You've got to make sure that your cuts... The way you cut can actually literally determine... Um, a meal not the taste but remember taste is texture and all those other things so anyway so that's why I'm doing this I'm taking the trouble to do this turn it around right and then I'm gonna just patiently go through and get myself some nice little dices there we go all right And then we're going to have to go back over and we're going to check to make sure that we actually, indeed, we actually cut everything. We don't have any long pieces, right? And then, that's why these things are so good. Because it's like, it's like three different tools. Because you know it's a different one that you can go like, like that. I don't even know what the name of it is. I've used it many times. But look, I can do, it, do this with this. And I get this lovely, pretty... Look, get that. Take that off. And when you're doing this type of cutting, the ones that are smaller, the ones that get stuck, the heavy ones stay on on the um, stay on on the board. So that's why you. So basically, what you'll be cutting usually are the bigger pieces, right? So that's how you can. This is a really good technique for getting things really super fine, right? Look at that, it looks like Christmas, you know, like those hundreds and thousands that you get, but like in bubbles. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that there. I'm just gonna put this over here, and that's gonna be ready with the ingredients. And uh, we're going to uh, let me check, it's boiling now. Oh, wonderful! So, the peppers, the um, the potatoes, sweet potatoes, we're gonna let that get really soft. So it's going to take another five minutes and then we'll be back and we'll be mixing all this together. We're going to get our, 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 um, we'll get our oil going and then we're going to be doing, rolling it out and we're going to do our sweet potato cheese sticks, our GT sweet potato cheese. Look at this, isn't this really fabulous? This is our our sweet potato there. Yeah, they looks like they're nice and soft. Yeah. Okay, I think we better take this out. Because I think this needs some attention. Right? Well. Alright, let me just turn that off. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to keep some of the water. Because I might need the water to loosen it up. In case it gets too dry. Probably not, but you never know. But if it's there, you can always use it. Ouch, that's hot. So I'm just gonna press these in. 
Ow. God. I'm getting bun bun all day today, man. Okay, here we go. Right? You see, this doesn't really take that much effort. And everybody knows how to mash a potato. But these are sweet potatoes with potato. Oh, lovely. All right. But I'm going to keep doing this because I want it to be... It's got to be mashed because I want little chunks. I don't want... Because I can probably just put a whizzer and go... But I don't want it to be waxy. So I got to go through the trouble of doing this. Right. And then what I'm going to do, as I add different things to this... It's going to do its thing. Okay, let's just leave that there for a second. I'm just going to prepare some of the vegetables. Okay, let me take a little bit of oil out of there. I got some very nice oil that's waiting to do its job. Oh my gosh, it's this is ready. Oh gosh, I better get going. Woo! That's ready. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit. I got some garlic here. I put all the garlic. That's only about about three cloves of garlic. Just put it in there, let it do its thing. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. Right, let that just go around and do its thing. Getting all the pepper out there. Let that do its thing. With the garlic, lovely smell, oh gosh. They have got to invent smell of vision Where you can just smell what we're doing here. Oh my gosh. Straight, straight away. I'm like, oh, that's a marriage made in heaven. I know it straight away. Lovely. And then I got some, um, this is green seasoning. Just the leaves with some cilantro. And I just want to put this together. I want just to cook a little bit. Uh, Need a lick a bit more oil. Lick a bit more. There you go. Nice. Alright, so I'm putting some dried chives and some dried dill. Just because dill just goes really well with um, potatoes. You don't have to use this. Just um, the Guyanese um, marman pork mixed with, um, with the broad leaf time it will probably give you about the same effect right and you're saying why didn't i use it well this is just easier today okay lovely we just want to cook a little bit not a lot right so we're gonna add some salt to this baby Yes, so we get a nice little mixture and then I just want to taste this. Mm -hmm. That is doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to press this a little bit more. See how the like, steam is still coming out of it, right? So, right, because I want this to be, I want to do this like a professional. Okay. There you go. All right. So we're going to add those bits that I just did here. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful. Take this one out. And we're going to do a bit of mashing. But at the same time, some mashing and mixing. Yes. Okay. There you go. Lovely. Right. Here we go. So we're going to mix this all together. You almost got what you need there. Right. Right. We're going to get this all over. Right. So I got some, uh, a little bit of, this is corn flour. And I put the corn flour in. Right. I don't want to use all of it. Probably about three quarters of it is what I want to use. The reason I'm putting that in there is because it's going to give me a much nicer 
a much nicer uh, fritter, which is basically what we're doing. Badoo, badoo. Okay. Okay. All right. And I got some cheese. I want that to be all part of this. Right. I'm, this is all going to become one mixture. And here is some bacon powder, which is always really good. Just makes it really light creates little air bubbles on the inside so it's not like a really stodgy kind of mixture okay okay let's mix it all together um, at this point you can actually add things like salt fish or ham or anything like that to this but I'm just gonna do it pure like this right so you get an idea but use your imagination right but remember, it's got to be a nice dry mix like this. It can't be too wet. That's the one thing. You see how this is all going together? Right. Okay. A nice mixture. I'm just going to taste that. Yep. That's rocking. And the sweet potato really gives it this other dimension, which is really wonderful. like some lo lovely look look how lovely that is see and it looks pretty too as well doesn't it okay so what we're gonna do is just give yourself a nice surface there and I am going to pour a little bit of this on the top oh fabulous look at what we're doing here I don't even know why I've got a roller because I don't almost don't need a roller Put it out there. That way. Okay. There's my roller. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top there. And we're just gonna roll this out. Okay, now uh, guys, pray. I'm hoping you're praying for me because let's see if this works. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah, look, it's coming off on, on the thing. It should work. Look. Right, okay. Not too thick. So what are we gonna do? You wanna right on the edge. Okay. In, make it stir. Okay. Let's do the first one. All right. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is maybe cut these in half.
Look at that. Oh my gosh. See? So that's how we're gonna make these. And they're gonna come out beautiful. Oh my gosh. This actually works, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Lovely. Things you can practice and practice in private, but sometimes as soon as you get in front of the cameras, you get problems. But look at that. That's actually working really well. Look at that. That is just terrific, man. <laughs> I'm so pleased with that. <laughs> and we just let this so we cook for a little bit. It only takes about, don't mess with them too much, as you could see. Probably not good. I can put some more in there, actually. Right? But you want them to get kind of golden brown. And you see they're already doing what they're supposed to do. And then they turn into these beautiful little cheese sticks. Okay, let's leave it at that. And then we're gonna just repeat this process over and over again. I'm just gonna let that cook and then I'm gonna get something, a receptacle, so we can put them in once they're finished. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the world of the singing show. We're gonna make you sing and you taste goes away. From the Tama Rota River to the East Coast, but this to the East and Shore to Georgetown City. Okay guys, so we have our um, our our sweet potato cheese sticks. Look at that. Lovely. So I'm just making a little bit of sammy sauce, which is mayonnaise and ketchup really. And you can put a little pepper sauce in there as well. And there we go. So shall we call Miss Jessica? To come okay, back? so okay, this is our sweet potato cheese sticks. A bit of an experiment. You can tell us what you think. They they look like they're doing the job, but um, so what's this made out of then, Ian? It's um, sweet potato, regular potato. Um, I think I put too much, um, they, you know, too baking powder. But like it's come out really light, so maybe a little bit less, and you can get some of this okay, bit more dense. But it's very, it's a very crispy bite, mm. and very cheesy, isn't it? Lovely. Really it's good. unexpectedly really nice. Mm. Okay. I mean, great buffet food oh yeah 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 are we gonna do this again when we're doing another bit of fried foods and i got you know because i think this could be really good this is just an invention you know sometimes i come up with ideas and i think okay this might work this works but i think i got another 20 percent to go with this mm -hmm. it's very got, nice though yeah i know it bite but but it's going to be amazing yeah because you've got some um, red peppers in there yeah, yeah sweet with red peppers. Mm. I got um, lots Please. of lots of well, it's green seasoning just from mm. around the garden, and a bit of red, um, yeah, and and cheese, and it just really goes well with um, with the sweet potato. The sweet potato always add this little bit of sweetness and nuttiness, which I really like about well, this kind of stuff. I think you should try this at home. I think it's really delicious. You know who would love this, Merle. Oh. You remember when she used to stay with us when we were living in Regent? Yeah, Queen? she loved her. Well, our friend Merle, who worked for Cuso, mm. she's written a book about her time in nice. China. And she mm. used to love all the experiments she used to do up in you know, yeah. living. Yeah. And so she's written this book. It's a fantastic book. It really is all about Guyana. It's about her being here for two six month periods and what she learnt from her time here. And she fell in love with the country. Now, it's called Grip by Guyana. By Merle Kindred. Oh yeah, but we like 60% of the book. She basically just wrote about so our time out in the Pomeroon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy this book. So it's available on Amazon. You can buy it as a hardback. It's a really good, great story though. Yeah, wow. as a paperback, or you can have it as a Kindle, right? Yes, yeah. So, we, you know, so you can have this a variety of things. If you want it straight away, but it's a wonderful book and I love it when people write about Guyana so I'm so glad she wrote it and it's so entertaining it's funny it's witty dry 
and it's full of her fascination and curiousness about the indigenous people, yeah. the people of Georgetown, the people of Guyana, and her obvious She really loved Guyana. She really should love. live here, really. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. So get this book. And, um, yeah, it was, it, she came out with us on a, uh, an expedition as well. And it explains... Oh, what the expedition where we went when we for the Harvey, Harvey Eagle, Eagle, but we found the Crested Eagle. Yeah, we did. And we were disappointed. But, but then, then <laughs> found out that that is like even more rare of a find. Yeah, than the Harvey Eagle. Than the Harvey <laughs> Eagle. That was mad, man. Yeah. But anyway, we, so cool. Yeah, so basically, um, great. You know, if you're interested in Guyana, those of you who are overseas, I know that we have a lot of followers in, in Canada and in the UK and the US and other countries um, or or you actually come from here it's a real great read and okay guys guys we just want to say like i want to know that when you write into us right or be sending you little uh, messages and stuff like that tell us where are you from tell us uh, like where are you look watching it from not where you're from and tell us what's your favorite what, what's your favorite have you tried any of these recipes well, like, well, I'm getting, it's, I'm really surprised, like, even among our staff and people that I meet on the street and everything, everybody's got, like, a specific recipe. It's really interesting because, um, like, you know, because we, all of this stuff, like, really going out on the edge. Everything is out on the edge. We always, we're trying something new pretty much every show, right? So let us know what's your favorite, what's your favorite recipe or which one you've tried uh, already and also where are you looking at this from we really want to know what our diaspora is and it is very important to us and then what we're going to do is that if we're going to be looking at all this kind of stuff and if you're coming to Ghana we're going to choose a few you just have to let us know there are lots of ways that you can let us know and then we can we'll choose who just a couple of people we've already done it and you just have them on the show it's really great to you know do it with people that you know have been really following the show and you know getting into this whole thing about how great Guyanese cuisine can be and how great already that the country is, right? So we want to say bye to you guys and thank you for tuning in. We want to say hello to TBN. And also, if you want to check out Singing Self Adventure tours, we've got the Taste of Freedom tour, we've got a Seven Curry tour, we've got a One Cent Magenta tour, and we're just developing another couple, right? You can always reach us on 695-9065 695-9065 and that's a really simple number and you will get there with somebody there at the end of the telephone and they will talk to you and you can ask any questions if you want to inquire about coming on tours with us every single one of our tours is um, inclusive um, where you got a lot of history and a lot also a lot and a lot of food <laughs> you know so that's the best thing like you know they're, they're and like music and music oh yeah you got lots of music as well so uh, bing 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 anyway and also you can tell me what your favorite is and i'll play that anyway see you guys later thank you for tuning in bye bye six nine five nine oh six five singing chef adventure tours thank you. bye bye, bye. So welcome to the world of the singing chef let me make you sing and you taste buds when all we want for you to see is how we live in a blessed country yeah i guess so i'm here um, this one's called lazy bones lazy bones
come back home to roost. <laughs> Great, lovely darling. So welcome to the world of the singing show Let me make you sing and you taste buds When all we want for you to see Is how we living in a blessed country Yeah